I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this session, I am going to discuss the derivation of EMF equation of transformer. So this is most important topic uh, in the like section electrical machine. So now let us start with the discussion. So I just wanted to uh, continue. Yes. First of all, consider a single phase transformer. And uh, you know, N1 is the number of turns. Let me note down. So N1. N1 is the number of turns at the primary of the transformer, uh, where N2 is the number of turns at the secondary of transformer. Uh, you already know that uh, the transformer works based on the principle of Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. So once you provide the supply, definitely what is going to happen? A magnetic field is generated at the primary. So therefore, the maximum value of flux that will be treated as phi m. Okay, phi m is the maximum value of flux. Also, like uh, the movement of the flux or the flux variation. So flux variation will be always in the form of like a uh, sinusoidal nature that you have to remember. Sinusoidal. So let us write the general equation of flux. Or you can write phi of t, phi of t that is equal to phi m sin omega t. Correct? You can call this is equation number 1 where omega is known as angular frequency, which is in, in the form of like radian per second. The unit of angular frequency is radian per second. Now let us apply Faraday's law. Okay. Faraday's law. According to Faraday's law, the EMF generated or the gen equation of induced EMF, generated EMF that is given by minus N into d phi by dt, where d phi by dt is known as rate of change of flux linkage. Now do one thing, uh, you can substitute the value of flux over here. So d by dt of, okay, d by dt of, you can write phi m sin omega t, phi m sin omega t. Please do elaborate it. Let us take the constant outside minus n into. So could you please elaborate this? It become constant I will be taking outside. Phi m is a constant. So remaining sin omega t. The derivation of sin omega t. Derivative of sin omega t will be cos omega t. Okay. Cos omega t into omega. So do one thing. Let, let me write like E is equal to uh, minus n into. Okay. Uh, phi m into omega into cos omega t, cos omega t, okay. So please call, this is equation number two. So uh, again, we can modify E is equal to, E is equal to, uh, general equation we can write EM cos omega t, E is equal to EM cos omega t, please call equation number Equation number three. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare uh, equation number two and three by comparing compare equation number two and three respectively. Could you please compare? Yes, of course. I can get EM is equal to EM is equal to how much it is? N into phi M into omega. So let us write the RMS value. We already know that. The root mean square value. Better we can convert like uh, RMS quantity. This is up to, applicable to like uh, uh, the equivalent value. RMS equal to uh, EM divided by square root of 2. That is a standard formula. Please do remember this. That is N phi M into omega divided by root 2. We, we know that. We already know that. Okay. Omega is equal to angular frequency. That you can write in the form of supply frequency. Correct. Okay. This much of radian per second. So what you can do is the same equation. Uh, you need to substitute the value of omega. So ERMS can be written as n into phi m into uh, 2 pi f 2 pi f divided by how much it is square root of 2. So do the calculation uh, 2 pi by 2 pi by root 2 into n into n into phi m into 
f so what is the value of 2 pi by root 2 that is nothing but erm is equal to if you simplify uh, you will be getting like a 4.44 4.44 f into n into pi m this is actually called a emf equation see emf equation of transformer now i'll be doing one thing now i want to write the emf equation corresponding to primary and secondary okay so how to write the emf equation corresponding to primary so i'm going to write over here so for primary side let us write for primary side i'm going to write primary side for primary side i'll be writing uh, e1 equal to e1 equal to 4.44 the frequency remains constant unchanged because in transformer we are not varying the frequency so primary number of turns number of turns in primary is n1 and uh, this is actually phi m if i talk about the secondary side i'll be writing like uh, e2 is equal to 4.44 uh, f into f into n2 into phi m so if i take the ratio like uh, I, i'll be getting like uh, so if you want i can give equation number uh, 4 let me write equation number 5 you take the ratio between 5 and 2 5 divided by 4 so e2 by e1 uh, e2 by e1 that is equal to n2 by n1 that is equal to k where k is known as the transformation ratio the content i am going to upload in the description box you can check the download the content and you can prepare i am going to share my notes with you I wish you all the very best for your examination. You can practice. In the coming session, I am going to come up with a numerical example as re request from the viewers. And I uh, will be providing the numerical techniques on transformer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are watching our channel first time, I request you to subscribe and kindly share with the concern. Thank you.